California Governor Gavin Newsom started a task force on business and job recovery. He's consulting with former Democratic presidential candidate Tom Steyer. There are four ex-governors and dozens of business leaders to help guide the state out of lockdown. One of those members of that task force is with us now, Mary Kay Henry. She's the international president of the Service Employees International Union that services 2 million members, we should point out. I'm Mary Kay, thank you so much for being with us. We certainly appreciate it. First, out of the gate, I do want to get your reaction to some of these states who have started to relax their restrictions. Do you think now is the right time? Healthcare workers and essential workers are dying on the front lines of this pandemic, Christy, because President Trump refuses to do his job and get them the personal protective equipment they need. And black, brown, immigrant, and Asian workers are paying a heavier price because of the systemic racism and corporate greed that has riddled service and care work across this economy. How dare the president or any governor force people to return to work in unsafe conditions without adequate health and safety protections, PPE, testing, and the income support that every worker needs in order to stay home when they have to, to care for themselves and their families if they're exposed or infected or get sick. We've had, some, uh, we've had some doctors and nurses on who say they are not having a problem with PPE. That obviously is happening in some uh, areas of the country, but not in others. What criteria do you see needs to be met to get to a point that is safe for the country outside, say, of the, what the medical community has touted for so long, the testing and the contact tracing? Well, I've been hearing all week from nursing home workers who are having to use garbage bags because they don't have gowns when they care for residents. I've heard from fast food workers who have no gloves, no masks, no disinfectant in their stores, and they're being exposed. And so we need adequate personal protective equipment for every essential worker, for the two million nursing home workers in this nation, for the two million home care workers, and then the 50 million workers who are doing fast food, delivery, all kinds of essential work that has never been valued in this country. It needs to be valued, and those workers have to have access to paid sick leave, to health care, to free COVID testing in order to safely return to work. I want to read to you what uh, Governor Newsom said about this, this task force that you're on and, and what the the mission is here. He said, we want to make this actionable. We want to make this meaningful. This is not something where in six months I'm looking forward to giving you a draft or putting out a long, thick report. We want in real time to demonstrate meaningful reforms, meaningful changes. California is the fifth largest economy in the world. There are more than 2.7 million people who filed unemployment in that state just last month. What can be done realistically between now and six months from now? to get people working and safe. Well, I appreciate Governor Newsom's foresight and putting workers at the table and making sure that unions are a part of the decision making with employers and government in thinking not just about the two million unemployed, Christy, but the five million more workers who have never been in jobs where they can feed themselves and support their families or expect to have health care. And in this moment, I think it's a time where corporations, state government under Newsom's leadership and working people are ready to join together and get everyone back to work in jobs that are going to need to be done that we never had to have before. We have janitors who can be certified to do deep cleaning and COVID testings. We have fast food workers who want to be able to deliver safely the food that people need, but need to be armed with the personal protective equipment that could be made right here in California. So there's lots of ways in which we can consider how we can rebuild infrastructure and invest in the caregiving that's never been valued and that needs to be valued once and for all in this country. Do you think that's plausible in the next six months? I think that anything is possible when we put our minds to it. This is a nation that put people on the moon. This is a nation that rebuilt Europe after World War II. This is a nation where we can join together and employ 7 million people who are needed to do jobs that we've never had to have done before because of this pandemic. Mary Kay Henry, we appreciate your time this morning. Thank you so much, ma'am.
Thank you.